Cognitive function test. Solve the cube. Please sit up. Respond to the key words. No thinking, just the first word that comes to mind. Loyalty. No. Want to talk to Hanako Arasaka? Please respond to each term with the first thing that comes to mind. Quick as I can, no thinking, right? Humanity. Enough! No more tests. I refuse to take any. Please step onto the treadmill. No. As quickly as you can, without thinking about it. V. No. Cognitive function test. Solve the cube. Fuck! No, enough! I've had it! Fucking hate this place! Didn't expect to see you here, of all people. <laughs> Life is full of surprises. Someone really ought to clean this mess up. What do you want? They asked me to speak to you. Fine. So what do you have to tell me? I fear I'm the bearer of bad news. Listen to me. The procedure was a success. We removed the biochip. But the damage it wrought proved enormous. At the genetic level, altered DNA. The kind you would find in those suffering from radiation sickness. And sadly, it's lethal. Fuck. Fuck! Things are bad, yes. But we have not given up. All the options have yet to be exhausted. What other options are there? Already gone under the knife once. Arasaka Corporation has the capability to cheat death. All we require from you is a dose of trust. Trusted you once, already. Fat lot of good that did me. You may join our pilot program. Secure your soul. I fear your body is no longer of any use. You must abandon it. We will create an engram of your mind and store it in Mikoshi. Store it? Why can't I just get a new body? We have yet to solve the compatibility issue. Doesn't sound like you had much of a problem with Saburo Arasaka. You have no offspring. Nor do you have an entire clinic focused solely on your care. So let's say I agree. Land in Arasaka's soul prison, put myself at their mercy. Do I even need to ask about the catch? All is set forth in a contract, guaranteed therein. You must merely sign it. If you wish to live, that is. Now, since a digitized psyche is not legally an individual, 
The contract entails relinquishing your rights. A temporary measure, naturally. No. Not about to become the property of Arasaka Corp. Current participants of the program are all well-known, influential people. We have yet to receive any complaints. And if I refuse? Your belongings are packed. A shuttle will take you back to Earth, and you will be dead before winter. It's no easy decision, I know. You should think it through carefully. Made my decision. I'm going back to Earth. I'm going home. You will die there. Goodbye, Anders. Your offer was shit, but in making it, you gave me something better. W what are you talking about? Before, death was inevitable. A fact of my shit life. You let me choose it. Accept it on my own terms. Thing of beauty will never fade away. I see your eyes, I know you see me. You're like a ghost, how you're everywhere. How's the Earth looking from way up there? She is pretty as they say. Or is that just another lie? Listen, don't forget, your implants were made for Earth gravity. Could start acting up in orbit. What I'm trying to say is, don't ignore any arrow warnings, okay? And when you're back, I mean, if you come back, I'll do a full checkup. Maybe even give you a little discount. Take care, V. Hey, V. Everyone's telling me you're a, a base gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> so big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. Who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to you. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, Vi. Hey, Vi. I'm just, uh... I'm calling to say goodbye. I finally decided to up and leave this city for good. Realize this place only gives you two choices. You either become an asshole, or eventually you get off by one. I hope you somehow find an alternative. Just a shame things had to end this way. 
have a nice life, V. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously, we're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, uh, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought... Maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Hello, V. From what I understand, you have less than six months to live. I do not know how you plan to spend this time. Perhaps you have chosen to put your feet up, rest, ponder life's meaning. Or perhaps you continue to do what you are good at. If that is the case, my father and I would gladly retain your services. You would be compensated generously. Six months will pass faster than you imagine. It would be a shame to let this time go to waste. Hey, it's Perales. V, you're gonna wanna hear this. But first, you need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And, and they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 you got a sec. Call me. Okay? Oh, oh, yeah. And don't forget to delete this message. Hey, V. Orbital connections cost an arm and a leg, so I'll just get right to it. 
I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot, and... Oh, dear. The Fool, the Moon, the High Priestess. Those, uh... Those are bad cards. Keep a close eye on your new friends, V. I mean it. <laughs>